Hello friends, today I'll be showing you a few steps um, that will help you troubleshoot some of these uh, some of the issues that you may have with your Vimo Mini along with uh, um, simple setup and installation of your Vimo Mini. And uh, as you can see, this is a, a Vimo Mini from Belkin. Um, it's the same company that uh, owns Linksys now. And um, it's a really uh, neat form factor you can plug two of them side by side in a, a plug or in the same uh, uh, set of plugs and that's one of the biggest advantages compared to the older uh, switch the Wemo switch and here as you can see once you plug it in out of the box uh, it starts blinking white and orange and uh, that means it's ready for setup and I've downloaded the Wemo app and uh, I have a few other Vimos in my home, but I haven't used this app yet. So let me go ahead and connect the Vimo or the Android phone to uh, to our Vimo Mini, to our new Vimo Mini here. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of networks in my surroundings, and actually four of them belong to me. And m my phone, I believe, knows all of those networks. So once it jumps from Vimo Mini back to our own network, it may connect to any of them. Uh, that's something I should be cautious about and uh, I may run into issues and most of you who are using extenders at home or multiple routers at home maybe, uh, you know, will run into the same issue as well. Okay, once I'm connected to the Vimo Mini, um, once a phone is connected to the Vimo Mini, uh, you can go here, launch the Vimo app. And run through the setup. Um, again, this is the same mini that I'll be using for um, a fan. So I'll just call it Vimo fan. And because uh, I use the same app in my home with four networks, I'll try not to remember Wi-Fi settings so that I force it to connect to whatever um, okay I'll enter the email address and get back to you and I, I'm gonna hit next Vimo at this point goes and discovers all the um, networks that it finds in this area and again that looks like it's based on signal strengths and this is my network and I'll enter the password without you know showing it to you guys and once I hit save Typically, when I notice the LED, the LED, um, you know, uh, it will go from the alternating blinking to a solid white, which means the device, the Vimo, um, are connected to the network. However, the app sometimes um, uh, errors out at this stage, and it thinks the Vimo hasn't connected, or it takes forever to, you know, figure out that the Vimo has actually connected. Um, these are the same kind of issues that I um, experienced with uh, Chromecast and um, other devices that have similar kind of setup. Luckily this time it went through but you may run into issues at this stage. And once this setup is complete, it uh, the white LED goes to, um, you know, uh, goes away and you'll see no LED at this stage the same LED you is used to represent the on off status at this state as you can see i have a few other devices looks like um, this particular vimo shows a vimo switch um, but then that's because my network is different so i'll go back and connect to the same network the vimo is connected to and which is this one and I know that will connect for sure. I'll go back and connect the Vimo app to that network. Yep, 
as you see the um, the Vimo fan with the correct state and um, you know correct image shows up here and yeah this behavior is what I'm talking about um, you may run into this behavior if you have multiple networks at home um, just kill and relaunch the app to see if that fixes the issue the response time should generally be much quicker yeah this is close to uh, the response time I'm expecting however if you have multiple networks and ever run into issues um, you can go to your remote access screen and make sure you do this while you're connected to your local network um, as in the same network that your Wemo uh, Mini is connected to and then once you're done uh, once you disable remote access you're only discovering the Wemos that are on the network at this stage and as you can see this is the Wemo um, and the response feels much quicker now and to make sure the app remembers that network as your uh, local network go back to your remote access screen and enable remote access again there is there looks like there is ways to make all of your four networks behave as if um, they are your local networks but then um, that's something that's uh, not um, you know verified a few times I'll have to try and uh, make sure that works before I can create a video and share with you guys okay now let me go back yeah so now I enable remote access as well as um, the controls look much uh, quicker now um, I think that's all I have to share for now thank you thank you everyone hope you like the video and it fixes any issues or uh, helps you set up your Wemo mini uh, Wemo devices quicker I think the setup flow and a few of these things are kind of similar with all of uh, all of the Wemo devices <laughs>